everyone. I wanted to pop on here quickly and show you how to make my chickpea chicken salad. Um, so, you know, with the warmer months arriving here in Colorado, it's nice and sunny. I'm kind of craving more of those meals that don't require much cooking that are kind of just ready to go in a few minutes. And so this is one of my go-tos. That's my chickpea chicken salad. So I call it kind of a chickpea chicken salad because it's kind of a play on the chicken salad, but it's more of a plant-based version. So those chickpeas, chickpeas are really going to pack in a lot of great plant-based protein and fiber that keeps us fuller for longer. So all that's in here is a can of chickpeas that I've drained and rinsed. So it kind of looks like one of these. And these are so good to add to so many different things. Uh, you can roast them, add them over salads, blend them into hummus. Chickpeas are one of the pantry staples that I always have on hand. Hi, Abby. Yes, I, you definitely need to make this. It is one of my go-tos. So you'll add in your chickpeas and then a ripe avocado and mash that up with a fork or potato masher. And you can pretty much mash it up to whatever consistency you like. Um, so really easy. And with the avocados too, it's a great way to use up ones that you have on hand that you've been kind of sitting on for a while that haven't you haven't used. Um, using up those overripe avocados, not wasting them, definitely use them in this recipe. So once you mash up your chickpeas and your avocados, you're gonna add in the fun stuff. So that's gonna be our add-ins. So when it comes to chicken salad, things like that, you can really customize it to whatever you like. So everything from grapes, celery, um, dried fruits, you can throw in whatever you want. So I like to throw in some celery, some um, chopped nuts, dried fruit, really whatever you like. Do you have any favorites that you like to use? Let me know. So yeah, mix that all up. Um, and then you're gonna throw in too a little bit of light mayonnaise and you can use a vegan mayonnaise too. Um, the light mayonnaise I use is this one from Best Foods, but there's also a lot of vegan mayonnaise brands out there. I know that one I've tried before is Just Mayo. Um, that's a great vegan one to use. So you'll mix that up. And then the last two ingredients you'll add over is a little bit of lemon juice or lime juice. So kind of to bump up that flavor and then some salt and pepper that I've already added in here. And again, that salt really is to bring out the flavor. It's not meant to taste salty, it's just to bring out the flavor of all the ingredients in our yummy chickpea salad. And really just like that, you have a meal in like five minutes, no cooking involved, perfect for picnics, potlucks, um, meal prep too. This is one that I love to keep on the fridge for a few days. So you can keep this in the fridge for about three days. Um, with the avocados in there, it might have a little bit of the browning happening, but that's totally safe. You can honestly just give it a stir or two and it will reveal back more of that bright green color that we have right here. So yeah, store it in an airtight container for about three days and such a great one. Um, Plant-based protein and fiber helping keep us fuller longer. Um, really great for meal prep and so one of my favorites. So let me know if you guys have any questions about this recipe. Um, it can be found on my blog at cheerfulchoices.com. So one of my favorite customizable recipes, kind of like all my other recipes that are customizable. Um, on my website too, I have a service called Coaching Plus Cooking that's kind of similar to this where I meet people virtually and we cook recipes and help them feel really confident in the kitchen. That's something that I'm very passionate about. So feel free to go to my website or a link in my bio that says that Coaching Plus Cooking and we can get on a discovery call and see if that is a good fit. So, you know, feel free to add any comments and um, I will see you soon. Thanks.